Hey guys, uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to try to show y'all how I put the factory 05 and up GM electric fans in my 2000. <clears throat> From 05, 06, and 07 has electric fans. 04 and down has mechanical fans. There is a write-up on, uh, on the internet. I'm going to link it to it. This guy does a great write-up. He's going to show you more detail or he's going to have a better detail write-up and I'll just show you more pictures. Uh, or more video of what I got. Please excuse me, this is my first time, so you know, I'm probably gonna make some mistakes. So, <clears throat> first thing you have to do is you got to get a newer radiator. Not newer, the 05 radiator. The 05 radiator is 34 inches, the old was 28. It'll actually fit in bolt holes that's already in your radiator support. This is your old radiator bolts. Pulls right up, throw it in. Throw your bolt in. Then the fans will go in your old, where the old radiator went. Now, to control these, this is the GM factory controller. <clears throat> on 2000, on 99 to 03, you can hook it to pin, uh, pin 42 in your computer. And if you have it flashed, it's supposed to to be able to turn them on for you. <coughs> Excuse me. However, nobody could program my note. My computer, for whatever reason, wouldn't take them, wouldn't turn on the code. Now, 03, now that's only for the low speed fans. Now, the 03 to 04, you can use uh, pin code 42 for the low speed and your main cut ons, and uh, pin 33 will cut on with your AC. The way the fans work is around, the factory has it set around 210, both your two fans will come on, your two fans will come on low. When the AC is on, this fan will come on high. If it gets above around 220 or so, both fans will cut on and this fan will cut on high. Now, how I managed to make mine work, since the, the computer wouldn't see it, is I went to I went to Amazon. I'll have a link in below if you want to find these to get these little fan controllers, and then just plugged them in and <clears throat> wired them up directly. Now this thing, and wired them to this because I like the way this system works. Now, the way this thing is worked is activated actually by grounds and not by a hot wire. So, the first modification is right up here, and the guy got a good write up and he shows you where to do it. Break this wire here, which is your AC wire, which the AC kicks it on. And I just broke it and went into it. And it comes to this controller to where the way these controllers work, they have a thermostat in your radiator. Or you can also have a switch to flip them. <clears throat> so that works for my AC. The other one, just one controller by itself. When it cuts on, it sends a signal to this to the box to set, cut fans on. Now I put a switch inside the truck that will cut them on for me. Now I would have wired things a little differently had I realized the computer wouldn't have worked things out. Because the difference in the wiring is, since these are ground activated, and you like using these because it's a little heavier duty, can handle the juice better than I think these pieces can, is when you wire these, and you're, you know, you've got to hook your positive and your ground up to activate the solenoid. But instead of running uh, a hot wire through the solenoid, you have to ground it. So when the solenoid is flipped, it runs a ground to activate your fans. And that's how they work now. The fan itself will fit, and this may be a little figly, will fit right in, just pretty as you please. This look really, really pretty. It's a lot easier if you don't have the holes on yet. A lot of y'all might, you know, be replacing it on top. It slips right there. Use the same bolts the old radiator used. 
and you screw her in. And here's the harness that goes to it. That's your little plugs. And then it has a ground in it. And they plug right up. This is one of the reasons I also use the factory harness because it, it runs to everything without having to cut and splice it. And I always have the option of maybe a different programmer can figure out how to get my computer to turn on. That was one of the reasons I didn't just splice the other one straight in. Uh, also, if you have one of the old alternators that's only like uh, 105 amps, you might want to try to find another one that's like 130, 145. That's factory set amps, uh, uh, factory size amps alternators. Now, I went to Amazon and I'll send you a link below. This is a 250 amp alternator, it's like $130, I believe. You can also get the radiator and the fans from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description of those, but you could also go to uh, you know, any auto parts store would carry this, carry these two products. That's replacement parts. So uh, you might be able to get it from Rock Auto, or go to you know cheapest route. It's going to be eBay's going to have them, and you could might go to a junkyard or you pull it. I got lucky, and there's a gentleman down south that buys GM brake GM vehicles and parts them out, and I got my radiator, my fan, and my controller for fifty dollars. So I jumped on that. <clears throat> So that was how, that's how you put the electric fan in the 99 to a basically 04 system. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as best I can in case I missed anything. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was somewhat educational. All right, I just wanted to kind of add, short, you know, but I'm, I'm new at this. This is only my second video. I plan on putting uh, a whole bunch more videos. I got some other upgrades for the GM. Like some brakes, I got a bumper build, uh, suspension lift, body lift. Uh, but I forgot to add this in, in, in my first narration, so I'm adding it at the end. But I also wanted to point out the reason that there's no fender, and all this here is missing on my truck, is we had a, or I had a small uh, misunderstanding with a concrete post. And so I replaced the fender and this radio support. So I figured since I'm Trying to start these videos to put out there for some how-to and hopefully help somebody else out that YouTube's helped like like YouTube has helped me out. Uh, I figured that since all this was off and you could see into here, it would be a good time to show this uh, how putting this together since I didn't do it when I was doing it step by step. So um, I'm hoping this, uh, that this video was able to help somebody, maybe somebody learn. And like I said, if you put any questions in the comments, I will do my best to answer it for you. But also, make sure you go to that write-up. He's got a real good write-up. So hopefully between the video and his write-up, you'll be able to put this in, in your vehicle.